Okay, I have been asked to do a tutorial on how to build this homemade wooden airship um, design. I'm flattered to be asked. It's uh, it's easy. Um, it might the hardest part is probably getting all the parts. <laughs> so when I uh, made this, I just basically went around to like craft stores and I bought. Um, various, you know, woodsies and and popsicle stick holders of different sizes and, you know, kind of toothpick type things. And uh, I just got a variety. So this is actually ridiculously easy to build. Uh, as, um, as far as what you'll need, like the really large popsicle stick things that they make, more standard size popsicle sticks. See, these these are by Creatology, and if you can get better ones that are less warped, all the better. Um, also need the I don't know what they even call these, but the you see these popsicle sticks that are kind of like um, they're not even really symmetrical, really. Um, if you look at end to end, one one end is different from the other. I'm not sure what these things are called. Uh, doll pieces, uh, these particular doll pieces are, you can see, what, 0.187 inch by 12 inches. I picked up these. These are almost optional to add, these weird shaped things from Creatology. And this is, I guess, one of the more important parts. It's these fluted doll pins, one, quarter, one half inch doll pins for the tanks. And then I, you know, of course, the handy-dandy glue, right? I use Eileen's, but Elmer's works great, too. Did I talk about these furniture buttons? Furniture buttons, 32 pieces. And then for the cutting, cutting tools, I've used different ones. Um, I've used these for wood. I use these for rounded things, but honestly, I've used these for, like, flat wood, too. And I just picked up these big like metal metal cutting shears and the thing I should note for cutting these things is I'm kind of impatient a saw would probably be better I'm told but um you know I cut it if it splits well, I'll just cut another one I mean they're not that the materials are not that terribly expensive I've been told that if you put tape um, over the wood before you cut it that can supposedly make it less like, likely to to splinter but anyway, what I did is I just determined to like try to make something with these different shapes. And um, this is literally how it all begins. Take the, the four popsicle sticks and of course you glue them down together. And then I think I took, is that three or four? Whoops, now it's fine. Although I'll take it down so it doesn't fall off again. Take three popsicle sticks like this and kind of go about here or so. And then these popsicle sticks, I put that at the end. Of course, I'm just, you know how to glue, glue things down. I'm just kind of showing you roughly how I built this. Um, obviously, it takes a while to glue, but you can experiment too. And I actually encourage anyone to experiment you might come up with something better than what i came up with then you take these these woodsies there's like these little circles and um they're very helpful i think they are at joanne's i i don't think they carry them at michael's anymore they used to but i put a couple of those like here just to kind of weigh out i think it was three but now it looks like maybe the wood's slightly different thick with these looks like it'll be two and then I took four popsicle sticks here. And I just put that on top. And so now we're getting like that kind of battleship shape. And it doesn't look like it right now. It's when you, the devil's in the details, right? The devil's always in the details. So then to add more uh, visual interest, we've got these. You know, these popsicle sticks. And I think I put it roughly like this. 
and I glued this and I put that there and then I took took this and I basically do you see this right here I just sheared off use the shears and you know I measured it with you know I just kind of like probably use an air popsicle stick to make it straight and I used a pencil about where I thought it should be and snipped it right off that's going to be glued and that's going to go right here and then for the smokestacks I just took those dolls and I snapped them right off and boom 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 you get three of them just like that um and then these there's these the, the woodsies have these really tiny really small circles they got these straight toothpicks these are the kind you get at like michael's or something they're not like actually toothpicks there's that really they're kind of thick for toothpicks and they're straight so i basically just for the bear, for the guns i just snipped off you know a couple each for get for turret and you know obviously just pop the turret put the guns in here probably about there you know put a couple of them on and glue that over and now you got a little turret and what i did for a while is i wasn't even gluing them down on the ships i would just glue the turrets and that way you could try different kind of uh configurations to see what you like and then for this for the little i don't know conning tower that's just a woodsy again right um, put on there and you use these little buttons uh, furniture buttons one quarter inch and I actually of course pre-glued that and put that on so that's all that is really and so at that point uh, do I have one on the bottom too I have one on the bottom and the bottom fin again was made just by snipping off one of these pieces and that gave me the fin and so the next thing I did, that was actually my ship for a long time. And then I didn't like the, I mean, I don't know. I've, I just didn't quite, I thought it was missing. It, it looked a little too popsicle sticky. And then I saw something on the cheap Wargamer site. Someone had something like this uh, on one of those, you know, um, one of those uh, famous clothespin spaceships. And I thought, oh, that looks like an air tank. And oh, don't aren't these airships supposed to have some kind of special gas that makes them float? So I went shopping and I found these half inch fluid doll pins. And I also found, oh, I guess there's one item which I missed. And forgive me, but I don't know exactly what these are called. I don't have the, but you'll find them probably like in the furniture section of Hobby Lobby, I suppose, like these little nibs. So what I did then is put a little glue on the side, pop, you know, pop one of those here, and then I put a little glue on the end, and I put a glue, a little piece of glue on the other side of these dolls, and you can say alternated. And, and it does, they do have a different, you know, these are not completely symmetrical, so, you know, be aware of that. So I thought it would look better with the, the smaller part towards the front, at least in the front. So, a sm you know, that, and then put, glue this in, glued another one in, glued another one in the last one by facing the opposite direction. And, you know, come to think of it, I'm sorry, before I did that, I took one of those, you know, one of these strange shaped, whatever these things are from Creatology, and pulled it off and I snipped just a little section to cover what I thought was kind of like an unsightly part of the ship. And then I put the tubes in. And of course, I that's kind of dictated to a degree. You know, obviously I tried to look at, well, what looks best? What's the, what just seemed right? But, you know, this could be, anyone could, other people might want to do it slightly differently. But really, that's all it is to it. I mean, this is basically very little... Very little handcrafting here. I mean, it's mostly taking pieces of wood and gluing them together. <laughs> you know, I mean, you have to snip off the barrels. You have to snip off the smokestacks. And you have to make a couple fins. And that's it. The rest is just putting wood together. Uh, I also have another one. I don't know if people are as interested in this. 
Um, I don't like this one quite as much, but this is supposed to be the opponent. And I don't know. It's just, again, just wood in different pieces and snipping it and such. And for this, I actually use for the smokestacks. They sell these little tiny spindles. So this is the opposition warship at this point. Um, I don't know if I'll ever build another one exactly like this. Um, but anyway, uh, there's other little ones I've that, that my son and I have, have built, but this one is probably the one that turned out the best, I have to admit, so far. And I am, I am going to be upgrading all my small warships that I have uh, because I've, this is like supposed to be like a battleship. I've got like, we've got like light cruisers and destroyers and such. And for those, I've just ordered smaller doll pieces, sub substantially smaller doll pieces. So I'll have to see how that all works out. But anyway, I hope this is helpful to someone. And uh, I am making this video on the request from somebody from the Cheap Wargaming uh site on facebook which i am just absolutely amazed by some of the creations that people come out with there which uh uh actually inspired that's why i added these tubes uh i made the ships before i saw the super cheap wargaming site but what really makes this i think sells this is the tubes and i got that idea from the super cheap wargaming site so anyway thank you hope this is helpful to someone